What's up guys, we're here with another video. Uh, by the title of the video, you can already tell that, again, it's going to be another one of those videos. So, disclaimer, I am going to get uh, hype, I am going to get derogatory in some things. Not to like uh, an amazing extent, but basically the same as last video. So, just be, just be warned that there will be some language, uh, there will be excessive language in this video. But, before I get into that, I just want to... I just want to thank you guys for showing my last video so much support. Uh, I got a few new subscribers from that, so it was awesome to see that. I'm glad to see that people are starting to view my content as quality, and I will continue to pump out videos for you guys as long as you continue to keep supporting me. So, big, huge thank yous for that last video. You guys are great. You guys are awesome. Uh, but... Let's get into this video, because this pisses me off, and I'm no longer a Daniel Bryan fan after this. Now, to give you guys a little bit of background of what of why I don't like Daniel Bryan is because everyone knows about the Dan the Brie Bella incident by now, in the, that, or in the wrestling community. Uh, for those of you who don't, uh, what had happened was she kicked a girl in the face, square in the face twice, and gave her a concussion, which... Ironically, her husband, Daniel Bryan, had to retire years ago because of concussions. Now, she has been getting nothing but, nothing but babied on this whole situation because of fans like me that said she needs to go. She needs to, or if she doesn't go, at least take time off and get better. Bryan Kendrick has a wrestling school. You are in. You are in a company with him now. You are back. Or the, he is back in the company that you're in now. Train under him. Learn something. You're around. You're around top talent almost all the time, most likely. And you're still this bad. You're, you're trash. I've said it on that video. I could have a month of training and be better than Brie Bella, and that is not exaggerating. Not at the not in the least bit. And people are going to say, oh, you're, you're an idiot, you don't know this, you don't know that. Do you know how much wrestling you got to learn? It doesn't matter, because she's that bad. She's that bad. And for someone who has done so, I've, I've, been, I'm a guitar, I've been a guitar player for 10 years. Brie Bella's been a wrestler for about 10 years. And I'm better at guitar than she's at, as at wrestling. And I'm going, I'm going all in and saying that. Because if I was as bad as she is at... If I was as bad as, at guitar as she is at wrestling, I would feel fucking terrible about myself. But basically what's been going on is because we've been attacking her, we've been attacking Brie Bella, according to Daniel Bryan, us fans that were outraged at her incompetence in the ring as a wrestler, as a performer, we were cyberbullying. Brie Bella, we were cyberbullying her because we are being critical, because we are voicing an opinion. So that means if let's just let's just take for example, if and this is where I can connect with the non wrestling fans out there, just people who want to view videos. Th this is where I can connect. Let's say your favorite music artist, right? So let's for example Beyonce, right? I used Drake in the last videos and we use Beyonce. I don't I don't like either of them. But Beyonce, let's take her whole fan base. So 100% of her fan base. There's, she has a lot of fucking fans. A lot of fans. I'm going to go out and say she has way more fans than Brie Bella. She has more fans than most wrestlers, most likely. Big time wrestlers. So, let's take 100% of her fan base. Beyonce releases a new album, right? And... It's trash. Like, let's just, like, for, for the sake of the argument, this isn't me saying she's trash, even though I think she is, but let's just say for the argument, she releases an album that is fucking terrible, right? And let's say 70% of her fan base actually buy the album. So, because we're in a download generation, kids don't want to pay for shit, so let's just say 100% of her fan base is all for this album, and then 70% actually buy it, and it's trash. You're not allowed to say anything. You're not allowed to voice your opinion on and voice your outrage that someone who is good to you, someone who you want to do really good, puts out a bad album. But 
one album is okay. That's forgivable. Every every artist has a lot of artists have had what, at least one bad album. But then let's just say she makes another bad album. Okay, now it's getting old. It's getting old. Beyonce, like, pick it up, pick up your shit, and then she releases another bad album, and that's bad. So you keep releasing shit. You keep releasing garbage, and you're telling me that because someone criticizes Beyonce online for having a bad album for not living up to a certain standard that fans are accustomed to, we're cyberbullying her now. That's what you're saying? That's what you're saying. Bullet from a Valentine, a, an amazing band, who I have, I have their whole discography, they released five great albums in a row. In a row, in my opinion. Some better than others, obviously. That happens. Not all of them are 10 out of 10s. But they released Gravity this year. It was not that good. I can say that true. I can say that honestly. For someone who loves for someone who loves something, it wasn't good. So Brie Bell is gonna make mistakes every week and week and week. And last week, she made a mistake again. She went to do a she went to interrupt uh, Liv Morgan and Sarah Logan to do something with Ronda Rousey, I believe. And um or no, the Riot Squad was going to interrupt Ronda Rousey, excuse me, and Brie Bella's on the outside of the ring, and she misses Sarah Logan's leg, so you know what Sarah Logan does? She just falls on her face to cover, to at least try to cover it up. That's how many fucking mistakes now that she's made? How many mistakes that she's made? That's, that is at least ten. And then cyberbullying. Get the fuck out of here. Because I criticize somebody because they are actually trash, for someone who considers themselves a veteran, which you're not a veteran in the least bit, Brie Bella, you're not anywhere close to a veteran, you're putting yourself in the same... You're put, you're using the same title as veteran, as Trish, Lita, Molly Holly, Victoria, Mickey James. How dare you? You're not even close to a veteran. When it comes to in-ring work and telling a story and being a damn great performer, you're not even any. You're nowhere close to that. You're not even close to us. You're not even Sasha Banks, and she just fucking got here. You're not Bailey. You're not Becky Lynch. You're not Charlotte. You're not Tony Storm. You're not any of any of these other women that are here right now. You're not any of them because you're that bad, and people are damage controlling for this woman nonstop because she had a baby and all that. That has nothing to do with that shit either. Like, I hate when people don't. People always want to defend something. Like, they always either they either want to be offended by they choose to be offended by something, or they want to be upset. They want to be upset, or they want to defend somebody no matter what they do. Like, they she makes mistakes week and week and week, and people are still trying to make excuses for this woman. She's bad. She's bad, and that's it. End of story. End of story. And I said time and time again, Bailey makes tiny, minuscule little botches in the ring, and people tell her to get out of the wrestling business. Now, there's people who say that about Brie Bella too, but a lot more people hate on Bailey than I, I don't see as many people to coming to defend coming to Bailey's aid than they do to Brie Bella's aid. I, I don't see it. Is it is it because of how Brie Bella looks? Is it because Bailey doesn't look as good as Brie Bella? Is that is that it? Is that because uh, Brie Bella looks looks better than Bailey that she gets she gets a pass? She gets to almost kill herself in the ring. Oh, accident! Accidents happen. She just had a baby. She can give a girl a concussion. Accidents happen in the ring. Really, accidents happen in the ring. And then you miss. And then you, someone's walking. But, you don't even have to really... You don't even have to do a wrestling move. You just have to put your arm out, and you can't even do that. Get the fuck out. You're trash. I'm sick of this. Cyberbullying. That's what That's what Daniel... I hate Daniel Bryan now because he said that. Because I don't even think he knows what fucking cyberbullying is. So you're not... So, so that's, that's the lesson here in this video. If you hate anything, and someone that you... A performer, or an artist 
does something that you don't like time and time and time and time again and you strive and you always want it to be better but because you voice an opinion the lesson here is you can't do that anymore because you know why because you're cyberbullying you are not allowed to allow someone to grow by giving them criticism you're not allowed to tell somebody well, you know you could do that better so they can maybe go and learn the fu learn how to fucking do it and get better and show us Show You have to perform for us. You have to show us something. And you're not doing that. You're coming back and taking, and taking women's spots who have earned it. And you're just coming in because of your name. And you're just taking all of their spotlight. And then you have the nerve to also be terrible. That is bullshit. Bullshit. And all these wrestlers coming to Brie Bella's aid as well as Daniel Bryan, saying how accidents happen. Really? 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 When AJ smacked out Mrs. 2, that was an accident. AJ was in the moment, he was in, and he just happened to hit Miz, he just happened to hit Miz in the face. That looked like an accident. Kane's been wrestling for 20 fucking years, never hurt anybody. So... Whatever. Cyberbullying, though. Cyberbullying. Cyberbullying. If you don't like, if you do not like somebody or anything people, allow them to be trash because you can't criticize them and allow them to grow as an individual because criticism is, is one of the best ways to allow people to grow. If you tell somebody backstage, you know what, man, you're not, you're not that great of a wrestler, man. Like, you need to, you need to do this, you need to do that. You need to improve your. You need to improve your move set. You need to maybe revamp your character. Go watch the tape. You can't do that because you're bullying them now. What what gener What world are we in now, where you can't be honest with people anymore? That's bullshit. That's why I love. That's why I love my fucking population here on this channel. That's why I love my subscribers because they are here for my realism. I am one hundred percent. I am authentic. I will never. Dial down. I will never sugarcoat anything, and that's why I'm. That's why I appreciate you guys so much because you know what's real and what's bullshit. And this sh this is bullshit that's going on right now in the wrestling in in wrestling right now, especially with the women. And you're trying to push this big agenda how women are doing this and women are doing that, but you're pushing it back constantly by having the Bellas and Ronda Rousey and all these has-beens from MMA come in and. You're shafting the real women's talent and not giving them a chance, and then yeah, and then this woman is on a war path, hurting people left, right, and center, and you're not doing anything about it. You just oh, it was an accident. I don't get it. I don't. I don't understand it because there's so many other women that like there's so many women they could use, but they're still just giving Brie Bella a chance, and I guarantee you it's because of Daniel Bryan. I guarantee it. That's like ninety percent of it. It has to be. But yeah. Cyberbullying. Because you're criticizing someone for being shit. You, you're, you're telling the truth. What do you guys think of that situation? What do you guys think about... Let's just say in general. What do you guys think... Okay, so I'll separate it. For the wrestling fans who are here for the wrestling videos. What do you think about Daniel Bryan saying... That cyber, you're cyberbullying his wife for her being garbage in the ring. What do you think about that? And for people who aren't wrestling fans, what do you think about, like I used the example earlier, what do you think about criticizing someone who does terrible and you want them to do better, or you, you want them at least gone and you want other talent to shine? What do you think about someone who isn't competent at their job, yet people are always covering for them? that's a better way to do it because I know there's a lot of people out there who've seen people like that who always get their ass covered on a daily basis at their jobs. But leave a comment if you like this video and tell me what you guys think because I'm really curious. So hit the like button if you guys like this video. Hit the subscribe button if you like this video also because you guys already know we like to keep it all the way G. Peace.